<laughs> what better place to talk about dark oak than the great outdoors with the dark oak m23 waxed canvas not heritage we're going to take a look at this one compared to the m23 standard edition it's just the material but then we're going to put this together with the other waxed canvas heritage collection which is now is it complete every time i think it's complete they add more things let's get into the studio dissect this fantastic m23 wax canvas what's heritage or is it heritage <sighs> today we're just back into dark oak territory with some awesomeness this is of course the m23 in heritage not heritage waxed canvas so we'll take we'll get into the you know what is this exactly spoiler alert it's a made in vietnam waxed canvas not technically heritage but labeled heritage just like the shoulder bag which is back here but so we're gonna get out the colors compare things talk about the colors in the dark oak collection i have they came out with three colors black dark oak and olive very cool colors but again the it's the m23 so new design and we will get into the m23ness of this but let's just get the color comparisons out of the way this is of course made in the usa heritage this is not heritage but you know anyway so let's just compare leather handles slight differences as you can see here you know the coyote-ness of it this is the coyote this is coyote you know so there you go brown leather patch what one thing is cool it's kind of more gray either way nice included leather patch on that we're gonna get through all the centers now it is a 210 back coyote backed with webbing on there which you know if it was on this you can add it and i will but super cool right that's just the way that one looks and no leather bottom but that's fine one thing i forgot to do what do you think does it match do you like it i mean you wouldn't wear both of together <laughs> this is gonna be one or the other but that's how they uh stack up Ta -da. This is, of course, comparison of the GR1. 21 liters both sides. And, you know, as I did in one of my previous videos, compared all the sizes, packs up a lot bigger when you go, you know, full open on that. Kit bag, same as the other Heritage. So we have, you know, pretty much matching, slight difference, more green kind of coyote versus this is more tannish. But that's the kit bag, which is one of my favorites. This is the recently released, also waxed canvas, not heritage, shoulder bag made in Vietnam. With, you know, some differences, right? So we have some zippers in here, which are the coyote zippers. These are definitely not coyotes. So dark oak combo here, a little different, just because we have different strap colors uh, than we had here. So you tell me. Would you have liked to have seen the shoulder bag kind of decked out like this one with the contrasting colors? Or do you like it sort of in its, you know, same color throughout? You know, it's just a difference, right? Did a video on this one, of course. Only came out not too long ago. Video up there to the shoulder bag, which, you know, is much bigger than people thought. But it is super cool. Love that thing. Just the M23. Now, a little bit of history here. So the M22, original 500D, just in black. I had a Ranger green. They had a Coyote one as well, I think, Coyote. But either way, they had those three colors. Of course, it had the G hooks, which nobody liked. Terrible handle, and but all 210 backs. Webbing, stern strap included, side water bottle po pocket over here, which is drop in and was awesome. The original is still one of my favorites. They never really did a heritage run like this. They did do this woodland, waxed woodland color, which is waxed canvas. I had to add the buckles because I had the standard M22 
G hook buckles. So I added those, had them re-sewn by scars, which was super cool. Uh, but that's it to this one. The other one had a bunch of scars modifications. You can totally do with that. One thing that I wanted to look at on this one, which was no leather patch on this one. Wax woodland, no leather patch on this one. On the inside, you know, just kind of remembering now that this one didn't have any sort of, they did have the M22 patch on the inside. M22, lifetime guarantee. So made in Vietnam on this one. And that was this. And, but it is nice that they had a heritage edition, but they just never did a full heritage run on the M22, which is kind of a bummer because that would have been very nice. Now we did have, bringing back the M23, a lot of big differences. Did a total walkthrough the original M23 video here. Of course, short version is this side drop-in pocket is now gone. It is a huge stretchy interior pocket. Now the interior lining is a more stretchy material. It's not 500D. It's just something that's unique to this. We'll see what's going on over here. They had the same pockets. They gave us Fidlocks standard, which I do like. In fact, there were these go rock branded ones which was super cool a much better padded handle haven't had the need to wrap this one just because it's super cool but it is in this aerobic material to begin with still 210 back that pocket's the same they added a bunch of organization to stretchy pockets on the inside which i do think is awesome to me what sets this thing apart from a gr1 is this run and gun activity that you can do with this thing you can just access all these pockets front big pocket side pocket stretchy pocket on the inside i mean it's just got a ton of organization options for you for anybody easy on the go if you wanted to pack it up for travel you can do that you can access that main compartment over here so to me this design the benefit is all of these extra pockets love it totally love it for its design still kind of undetermined now this one is in aerobic, which either love it or you hate it. I'm kind of still on the fence, undecided for the most part. One reason you haven't seen me review the GR1s and GR2 in this is I just don't think it works in those bigger bags, personally. I haven't handled it, but I don't plan to do a review of those. Some people love them. In fact, um, it's just, for me, I just think this one just droops a little bit better. I think it works in the bullet for me, but this, it just doesn't um i didn't really prefer this fabric build in the m23 just being completely honest now this one is kind of what i was waiting for and it doesn't disappoint and this nice leather accents on there one thing i didn't you know, no leather bottom on that just kind of forget but either way nice accents i do like the contrast on this one the reason i got the ranger green originally was because of really can't see anything in this other camera can if i block it one thing i did like about the ranger green was the different color contrasts between the ranger green and the black this one and honestly, the olive does that. If you go check out that picture on that, that is fantastic. This one is just this nice dark oak color with the coyote accents, has the same front pocket, has the same organization in here that I know and love in coyote. So drop in pockets, two tone in the back, which I like, and a sternum strap because that's slipperiness. This thing, it's got a big old bottle inside. This is just a standard old Yeti that I have put in there. And this stretchy material on the inside, like we showed you over on the M23 Robic Edition, this is that same stretchy material. So you can put a huge water bottle in here. Of course, you're fighting for volume on the inside of the bag, but that's just something to consider. But just gorgeous. Love this one a ton. And, you know, this is super cool. I'm not really sure why we have black. It's probably because they didn't make these in any other colors, but if they would have had brown, I think it would have been perfect. I do like the black, it doesn't, it doesn't destroy it for me, but it does, you know, one little thing that I would have done differently. As we pop the lid on this thing, and this is where 
I'm just going to lay this down so you can see this a little more detail. I'll kind of zoom in. You can see this nice leather M23 patch, 21 liters, but this one was. They sell it in a 26 liter as well. Lifetime guarantee heritage. No made in the USA because it's made in Vietnam. But simple pocket, not lined. Got a key loop inside. Nice little coyote mesh thing here. And some other stuff. Now, one thing that is added about this big packing cubes in here today that this retains is this internal mesh pocket along the back and the stretchy pocket in the back so and that that is heritage as well along the back panel so super nice super cool nothing else around the whole outside of the bag it is lined so you're feeling that lining of the bag not the heritage around the whole rest of the bag which is cool i mean i think this thing is a home run for sure and to be honest the black wax canvas if you just want that classic black probably the one to get if you just like classic black now they are coming out with some 500ds i think that may even be on the website shrapnel edition but i think they're gonna come out with black as well just so you know because this thing is a classic design and i already know they work on the m24 I just don't know much about it because you know they're constantly evolving so there you go what do you think you're gonna get one did you already get one do you have it already do you love it which is better what's your favorite color i got all these questions is it the olive is it the black or is it this dark oak dark oak dark oak's the way to go super cool so that's it that's what i think of the dark oak not heritage waxed canvas m23 Fantastic. In fact, I think I prefer this one to the ripstop. In fact, I know I do. And there's a bunch of different colors coming out. I know they're coming out with the 500 deeds probably already on the website, and you might want to go check that out. So with that, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one. More Go Rock stuff coming out. Ever goods. Lots, lots to talk about. Coming out soon. See you in the next one. Okay.